hello good morning students and welcome back to my channel today let us see about the cell division so we all know cell cycle it has interphase and m phase so again m phase is divided into mitotic division and meiotic division and interphase the cell growth phase we can also say let us see in detail about one by one in detail now let us see about the interface in interface there are mainly four phases are there g0 z1 phase s phase and z2 phase and m phase is called as the divisional phase and interface is growing phase cell growth in size and the first phase is the g1 phase g1 phase lies between M phase and S phase. What happens in G1 phase? Can you guess? Yes. As I told you, it is a growing phase. In G1 phase, if you see the white structure of this one, it is growing in size. After growing in size, the nucleo content will double. Yes. Can you see here they doubled? Yes, except DNA which is in nucleus that uh, the hair like structure which is in, in, in between it won't get doubled and centromeres will not get doubled and next one is the S phase. This is also called as the synthesis phase. The synthesis means something is synthesizing, producing. What it is producing here really nothing is the middle one the dna duplication replication dna replication takes place here in this one see takes up the responsibility of duplication of dna and also the centrosomes here you can see the centrosomes the centrosomes are nothing but the hair like structures so they are like like your hairs Five, uh, the spindle fibers it is called as the spindle fibers helps in releasing the threads like structures for the separation of the sister chromatids once the sister chromatids formed these will help to pull them to the cell poles different poles that is the purpose of this centrioles and centrosomes understand after that the cell enters into z2 phase so what is this z2 phase the z2 phase is the cell growing phase again so cell grows more and more and prepares the cell for the next stage what is the next stage m phase m phase means mitotic division phase so after okay after g2 phase cell enters into the m phase but here I wanted to mention one more extra information. What is that extra information? Here, see, M phase. Before the cell entering into like G1 phase, there is a G0 phase. G0 phase. Firstly, I have mentioned you, G0 phase. But we haven't discussed more about. Let us discuss about this now. So, what is this G0 phase? This G0 phase is also called as the resting phase. Before, like after uh, M phase, before entering to the G1 phase. So, it rests. How, why it rests? Because resources available. Nutritional deprivation. If the nutrients, proper nutrition is not there for the cell to get replication, then in M phase, uh, between M phase and G1 phase, at zero G0 phase, cell will stuck, rests until unless. It now let us see about the main phase of the cell division or cell cycle that is M phase. So before that one, let us see again how many phases are there in cell cycle totally Z1, S, G, G2 and this all together called as interphase and m phase so this is cell division phase 
okay now m phase m phase again divided into mitosis and cytokinesis again mitoti mitosis again divided into prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase now what about this prophase in this prophase the nucleus the nucleotides are chromatids they will get condensed what do you mean by condensed they will get thickened like your hair like structure they will th uh, condensed condensed and they will form a chromosomes and these chromosomes are attached together by a centromere and these centromere and either side sister chromosomes these are called as this is one set sister chromosome that is and the sister chromosome now so after this one as i told you centrosomes forms a spindle fibers hair like structures you see in this prophase this centri these are called as centrioles this moves towards the either sides of the poles of the cell and attach to the chromosomes attach to the chromosomes in this prophase the nucleus membrane will disappear nucleus membrane will disappear and they cannot scatter these chromosomes cannot scatter because of with the help of those hair like structures and in metaphase in metaphase these chromosomes together will bring into the centro equator of the cell equator of the cell with the help of these hair like structures called as centromeres okay on either side sister chromosomes are present in this phase next anaphase in this anaphase what is happening so these hair like structures centrosoles they will pull the chromosomes chromosomes on the either sides of the cytoplasm of the cell and these hair structures will reduce in the size can you see their size reduced and what is happening next one so don't get confused with the centrioles which are hair like structures and the centromere which is at the middle of the sister chromosomes understand the centrioles are on either sides of the poles of the cell and next till and in telophase the nucleus membrane is again formed on either sides of the chromosomes and this chromosome spread out into chromatin and the nucleus is again visible in this telophase and mitosis this is all about the mitotic division let and cytokinesis what is this cytokinesis is nothing but the division of the cytoplasm of the cell how it divides the cell membrane will divided into two parts in between and makes the two daughter cells okay let us see now about the key features of m phase of the cell cycle or cell division so here in m phase we have totally seen how many phases mitosis and cytokinesis so in this mitotic division again there are four phases prophase metaphase anaphase in prophase we can see the condensation of the nucleotides into the chromosomes condensation of the nucleotides into the chromosomes after that it enters into the metaphase in metaphase in this phase the cells are at the equator of the cell and in anaphase the centrioles separates the chromosomes on opposite poles of the cell by shortening themselves and in telophase is the last and final phase where the nucleus membrane is visible and then the cell enters into the uh, next cytokinesis or cytoplasm division where the membrane will divide cell, cell membrane will divide the cell into the two and forms the two daughter cells are uh, two daughter cells are having same dna structure as the parent cells from where it has started the division understand so thank you for this and uh, please subscribe my channel and share my channel and uh, i will come up with the new video thank you